Tonight, News 8 has learned a child pornography suspect who worked as a school custodian prior to his arrest last week was previously fired from a massage therapy job after a client said he touched her inappropriately. News 8's Megan Bunchman sat down with the concerned massage customer today who says that if her case had been prosecuted, Bradley Arkestein would have never been hired by a local school district. Megan. Brian, due to the nature of these allegations and the federal charges Arkenstein currently faces, our interview subject asked not to be identified. Tonight, another reminder just how important it is to trust your gut. After a concerned massage customer said Bradley Arkenstein went too far back in November of 2022 while working as a masseuse at Simply Massage. He took my arm and draped it off the side of the table, which is normal. And then he lifted my shoulder, my elbow so far up, it completely exposed my breast and my nipple. A licensed massage therapist herself, our concerned customer says Arkenstein was flustered from the beginning. And while she first thought it might have simply been a lack of experience on his end, the more time she spent on the table, the more her feelings of weirdness turned to fear. The second I clenched my legs together, I think is when I should have stopped it. But in my mind, I just thought I was being paranoid and I hate to say it polite. After a short time, the customer ended the massage and spoke with the manager about the incident. She says the company fired Arkenstein shortly after, but not before she filed a report with the Kent County Sheriff's Office. Unfortunately, the prosecutor didn't think that there was enough information to press charges. Citing insufficient evidence, her criminal complaint was dismissed. A part of me felt like maybe I wasn't worthy of justice. Maybe I was being a drama queen. And I felt very, very strongly like it didn't matter. <laughs> and then when I saw what happened with the child born, I was just like, it's A civil suit in this alleged sexual harassment and or assault is still pending against the business itself. Arkestein was in federal court today for charges of child pornography stemming from a different case. He waived both his preliminary and his custodial hearing. Now the decision is over to a grand jury to see if there's enough evidence to move forward. Brian. Megan, thank you.